Hey, everybody. It's uh, great to be here with you, and uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. My name is Adam, and we'll give it a couple of minutes for the people to kind of fill in, and, and uh, I just want to welcome you. I love getting together for these webinars, and um, some of you maybe have never been on a webinar. Others are, are old hat and have done it many, many times. What you'll probably find is this webinar will be very different than other webinars that maybe you have attended because I don't come with a plan. I don't come with slides. I don't come with information to deliver. We take it, model, and, and I let you bring your questions as my phone rings and we'll turn that off. I let you bring your questions, and what happens is when I answer the questions, you may think that a question uh, isn't for you. Somebody may say, I have fibromyalgia and you have something else, or I'm using zero pain now and I got, had, was pain free and now I'm not, and you don't even know what zero pain now is. That's okay too, because what you're going to find, and I promise you this, is that Every question that comes up, every person that comes forward is going to be there to help you. The answers will come in a way that helps you. Um, the questions will apply even if they don't seem like it on the surface. So um, stay, watch, participate. Come on, ask your questions. That's why I'm here. It's not to sell and it's not to deliver information. Um, it's to, it's to help you. It's to answer your questions. It's to help you get what you want, which is probably a pain-free. So a little bit of housekeeping at the beginning. I'm going to look down right now and kind of get an idea of who's here. I'm one of those people. I have a great staff. I have a fantastic staff, and they always want to run the boards for me and take care of all this stuff. And I just, I abhor those experts that, you know, have people you know, walk behind them and carry their stuff. I just, I like to take care of myself. So you may suffer a little bit because of that, because I'm not a tech genius, but we'll put this together tonight and, and we'll have a good time together. So I'm going to look a little bit at some of the people. And, and uh, in, in the event that you haven't been on a webinar, you haven't been on a Zoom one before, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see, it should be the bottom on your screen, there's something called Q&A where you can ask questions. And you can also raise your hand someplace down there near the bottom. There'll be something for you to raise your hand. And, and, and that, what I want to do is raise your hand, ask questions, but so that I can bring you on with me and I can help you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what your room looks like. This is an opportunity for you to get help. So I stick around and I answer the questions and I help those that want to come forward. So if nobody comes forward, we've all wasted our time and I go eat dinner and you go do what you do. But, but the best thing you can do is um, put your questions in and raise your hand so that I can help you. That's why we're here. I have had some people send some questions in in advance, but you know, I just wanna be here and I wanna help you. So don't be shy. I don't bite. Uh, I promise that I'll help you. And, and as I say, put in your questions and raise your hands and volunteer to come forward and uh, I'll help you. So first of all, I just want to look at some of the people here and I see, I see, I see, you know, it's interesting. We got about 110 um, registrations today. And I'm going down the list, and usually I recognize people, and I'm going down the list, and it's like I hardly any of the names do I recognize, which is thrilling for me, because I get to meet some new of you, and there's some new people exposed, and, and that's very exciting for me. And I see some names that I know, and I see some, I see Australia here, and I see India here, and I see lots of different Europe here. And it's just, it's wonderful because it's the middle of the night, some of these places, so it's, I'm, th I'm just thrilled to see you. So, um, 
Okay, so you want to raise your hand, you want to ask questions, I'll bring you forward. I'm trying to figure out all this. Um, okay, there's a question there. And okay, so I'm looking and, and we'll bring people. Okay, so we have a couple of questions. Okay, so in the chat, I'm trying to, by the way, I can try to figure out what your hand raised. So, um, I want to, let's see, this is a great one. Um, there's, I, I, and I'm hoping I can bring you forward. So there's a note from Pam, by the way, hi, Tracy, I see your note there. There's a note from Pam who has a question and Pam, I don't know if your hands raised, so I don't know if I can bring you forward and turn on the, turn on your video. So would you put a note in there and let me know if it's okay? Cause I'd like to help you right away. You've got a, you've got a really interesting comment there. Um, and also Kim, I see you out there with questions as well. So I'm looking for where the hands are raised. And for some reason I can't find that part. So, um, my apology, this is typical. Every time I do a webinar, um, I get boggled technologically for a few minutes at the beginning. So what I'm going to do while I check around is I want to just share a little bit about what causes pain. Maybe give you a tiny bit of background on me, and then we'll go right to your questions. So here's, here's what we found. There's been a lot of research, and, and, and chronic pain in the, in the U.S. alone is about 600 to $630 billion a year. It's more than cancer, heart disease, and diabetes combined. No matter where you are in the world, uh, there's people all around you in pain. We have this opioid crisis that's killing people. The medical pain management, or I hate to say, I'll apologize to anybody out there, but the medical pain mismanagement is not only keeping people stuck in pain, but, but helping people um, helping people get worse. And they're not necessarily doing it on purpose, but the old medical paradigm of pain management is uh, detrimental. It's not, it's, it's like toxic lipstick. Put on some lipstick, look beautiful for a few minutes, have a few bites of food and the lipstick wears off and you have the same old lips. All of these medical pain management techniques, whether they be surgery, whether they be drugs, whether they be chiropractic or physical therapy, um, they tend to keep people stuck in pain rather than help people get out of pain. So many years ago, I used to help people. That's great. I've been studying the mind and the body and the brain, how they work together for, shoot, 20 years. And I used to do these sessions called rapid life change. And people would come. And they would bring problems, divorce or bereavement or anxiety, panic attacks, addictions, weight loss, that stuff. And I, and I put together this five-hour session. People come up from all over the world, and, and in this five-hour session, I promised that the problem would be solved. And it was very, very successful, really successful. But something really interesting happened. Almost every person at the beginning of these sessions would be talking about their problems. And all of a sudden, they'd get this look of despondence in their eyes. And they'd say back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, need surgery, had surgery, bulging disc, herniated disc, fibromyalgia, drugs. And it was obvious that that problem that they brought was much worse, or the, the pain was much worse than the problem they came for. And what was really interesting is what became obvious is, is there had to be a link because all these people had stuff in their lives and they had stress, tension, emotions, the stuff, and they had pain. So I went out to, to figure, if I can figure, do something about that, I can make a much bigger difference in the world. So as soon as I got out there, I realized there was a whole body of work already done by somebody in New York. And he kind of figured out this emotional, not kind of, he figured out this, this emotional cause of, of uh, chronic pain, back, neck, shoulder, whatever. And um, it was good. The theory was great that the, the technology used to eliminate the pain 
had kind of stalled in the 70s or 80s. So I thought I could take maybe six months and, and take all of the mind, body, and brain stuff that I'd learned and combine it and, and put this thing together. Well, four years later, seven figures of debt, a lot of experiment experimentation, and Zero Pain Now was, was born. And it's been supremely successful, more successful than, than anything ever documented before, which is wonderful. But all I really want to do is help some people feel better. So let's move forward with that. I see some questions here. And um, I can't find where hands are raised. So if you've raised your hand, I can't see it. And I'm, I'm trying to figure this out and see if I can find hand. I don't see hands raised. So, so guys and gals, if you're out there, I can't help you if you're not. Well, oh, wait a minute. I see a hand. There's a hand. OK. So, um, all right, so we're going to bring the first person forward, and um, okay, so Kim, I see your, your hand raised, so the first person I'm going to bring, so get ready, I'm going to bring you forward and put you on with us, and uh, let's see how we do this, and remember, whatever she says, it may not be your problem, the answer will be for you. Kim, uh, can you put on your video? I don't see you there. Let's see there. Oh, Kim is a guy. Wait a minute. Kim's not supposed to be a... No, that's... Okay. I am. I am. Okay. That's all right. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. It's nice to... Uh, see, you look familiar to me. Have we ever chatted before? No, we haven't. You look very familiar. Um, and, uh, every every guy uh, looks like this when you become seventy. It, well, seventy, you look you look you look fantastic. <laughs> and 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 from where are you? Um, are you? It's uh, it's uh, three o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm calling from Finland. Finland. Well, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. So everything's fine. Don't worry about that. So why are you here? Tell me what's going on. You know, I, uh, I ordered your your books. Um, I have it in my uh, somewhere still, and I read it uh, read the books um, three years ago, and uh, uh, then I decided to to uh, go for a surgery. I have pain have had pain in my my feet for. For now for 10 years um, the surgery went not that good uh, actually it got my feet even worse and uh, so a couple of days ago I saw that you you're here again and I decided to to contact you and ask uh, if, because um, you've been talking so much about uh, helping people around the world. You, you, are you trying to say I have a big mouth, I talk too much? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, you have, but uh, <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay. I don't blame you at all. Well, let me ask you a couple of questions. Um, Tell me. Were you, you, obviously, you had surgery, so you must have been medically diagnosed with something. What did they say? Yeah, they told me that I uh, must be uh, a... Today, I actually uh, talked to my, to my doctor. He's a... Uh, Nerve, nerve, nerve uh, surgery. Sir, what what do you call it? Sorry, neuro, my... neuro neurosurgeon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he's a specialist, a very famous doctor in Finland. I was talked uh, speaking. So, to so him, what, uh, what did he what did he diagnose you with? Mm, uh, there's two things. Uh, one is uh, a polyneuropathy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because I have a tingling uh, feeling in my feet all the time and burning and all those things. And also they opened up uh, three years ago when they did the surgery, uh, they opened up my, um, yeah, they, they released uh, deep, uh, is, uh, is it a deeper, uh, uh, I, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 
they opened up my nerves in my 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 back. Okay. And so it's back. a spinal stenosis actually. Oh, spinal stenosis. Oh, mm. okay. By the way, I've never ever 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 seen a case of spinal stenosis that causes pain. Not one time ever. So that's good news for you. Okay. So let me ask you a question. So you said some years ago you bought my book. You didn't do a program. You got a book. Did you read the book? Yes, I read the book and I did the program and other things. So I, I brought down the the cost. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you tried to find out. No, no. Sounds, okay. Book and workbook, not a program. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk everybody. Okay. So so Kim is talking about pain in his feet. He's talking about a diagnosis of spinal stenosis. Um, that may not be yours, but here's the thing that is critical to understand. 97% of the time, the cause of chronic pain is the same. It doesn't matter if the diagnosis is spinal stenosis or bulging disc or herniated disc or sciatica or whiplash or neuropathy or plantar fasciitis, or fibromyalgia, torn meniscus, torn rotator cuff. There's a spondy word that I still, spondy lotus litus, I still can't say the darn word. But um, these are diagnoses. They are incomplete and generally inaccurate diagnoses. The reason they're incomplete, it's not as if they don't exist. So. Somehow, uh, Kim, I'm assuming for your spinal stenosis, you probably had an MRI, right? Yeah, I had. Okay. And, and so I, I did my, my ENMG as well. Wonderful. Month, okay. month, month ago. Sure. So they do these tests and these things show up on the images. So that's true. But here's the thing. They almost never have anything to do with causing pain. Now, Sometimes the medical community just, you know, doctors head spin when I say these things. My own cousin, whom I adore, is a neurosurgeon. And if I said that in front of him, he, you know, he would probably shake his head. But at the same point, there's a reason 97.4% of people in private sessions have gotten better with all these diagnoses. It's hard to argue with that. So... What causes pain then? You, I, I know that you know, you, you read that book some time back, but let's talk about it a little bit. So if it isn't structure and if it isn't spinal stenosis and, and bulging and, you know, all these diagnoses, well, what's really causing pain? Well, here's the, here's the key. If you remember, I, I talked at the beginning about those people that came for these rapid life change sessions. They had stuff going on in their life. So what we have uh, determined, what has been determined and proven over and over and over again before me, I just came up with a, a better delivery mechanism and a better mousetrap, is that it starts with stress and it starts with tension. But even before the stress and tension are repressed negative emotions. Okay, so what do I mean by repressed negative emotions? Um, we're all trying to get through the day and we have some self image of what we think of ourselves. And there are certain emotions in certain circumstances that are not okay. I remember when I used to have pain, you know, I'm Mr. Spiritual guy and meditating and all that stuff and it wasn't okay. And I would just be, you know, it wasn't okay to be angry with my wife for some stupid thing. And um, when pain came, all of a sudden I would look at that and I would realize that I'm just, you know, in, in, I'm furious and the pain would go away right away. So, so what we found is almost every case, the pain originates with repressed emotions. Okay. It's as if you don't know they're there. So if you're suffering pain and you've never been on one of my things, you don't know anything about you're, you're just going, come on, who, who's this clown? Um, but the thing is we prove this every day. So it starts with these repressed emotions and that starts a process in your nervous system, your autonomic nervous system. And blood vessels constrict a little bit. There's a little less blood flow, right? And there's oxygen in blood. So if there's a little less blood flow, there's a little less oxygen, <clears throat> pardon me, 
And that's what really causes the pain. Medically, they would say ischemia, a little less oxygen. So that's why some of you put heat on your area of pain once in a while. You get a little temporary relief and the pain comes back, right? Pain management, by definition, is managing pain symptoms. It's not eliminating the cause. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry. So put a little heat, you get a little temporary relief. Or chiropractic, move around physical therapy, a little temporary relief. The pain comes back, the pain comes back, the pain comes back. Even surgical procedures, not uncommon. Get some relief, pain comes back. So repressed emotions start this process. So if that's the case, how do we fix it, right? Nobody here came to, to nobody cares why. You want to know how to get better. So the only way to eliminate the pain is by unrepressing the emotions. That's it. It starts the process I call the path to pain. The way to end it is to unrepress these emotions. Now, there are certain personality types of people most likely to suffer. I call this diversion pain syndrome because there's a purpose for this whole thing. It's to divert your attention from some unbearable emotion, almost always anger and rage to something physical like pain, tingling, burning, numbness, weakness, all those things. Now, uh, we did a pilot with Mayo Clinic. It was really, if you don't know Mayo Clinic, you're around the world. They're probably the most famous healthcare system in the world. I'll quote from it, using the zero pain now method, every patient was pain-free and case closed in 28 days or less. These were people with all those diagnoses that I mentioned earlier. The reason I point that out isn't to tout anything, but if you want to, if you haven't, go to the website take after this, take the pain test, and you'll know with 97% certainty whether you can get better. If you score high, you can. So now let's go back to the, um, let's go back to Kim. So I've, I've kind of gone over this process, right? What causes pain? So let's go back to you specifically, Kim. I will give you the, the good news and the bad news. It's the good news. By the way, have you taken it? It was years ago. It was probably pre-paid test. You ever take that pain test? Yes, I did. And do you remember what you scored? Mm, can't remember. Okay. But it was uh, serious, yes. Well, there's a high, medium, and low. So mm -hmm. okay. you want, you, you, after that, you, you can go take it again. We won't punish you for that. Um, and... Um, and make sure you score high. That will also help you kind of psychologically set yourself up. Now, I will give you one little thing. I don't know why. Some, it's rare I say that because usually I, I pop off like I know everything. Um, I don't know why feet tend, I have an idea, tend to take much longer for the pain to stop. So typically with zero pain now, 85% of people are pain-free day six. Some people take a little longer. Feet, for whatever reason, seem to take um, longer. I remember a professional golfer, whose name I won't mention, that came. He'd been suffering for 28 years. It was horrible. We had hip pain, back pain, and foot pain. He had neuropathy as a diagnosis. I don't remember what the other ones were, but he'd had it all. And the hip pain and the back pain went away in like a few days. And it was two, three weeks before his foot pain went away. We're dealing with blood flow. There is less blood flow as we get into our lower extremities. So sometimes that takes a little bit longer. The reason I say that, Kim, is give yourself some time. Do the process. So, so you don't have, a, which is okay. You don't have a whole process. You got a book and a workbook, right? Yeah. Okay. So... It was years ago when you did this. So, so I want to bring you into now for a moment. And I want to make sure that you, you, you get just, I want to do something with you for a second. Okay. Now, by the way, it's your, your, your right now, what's your level of discomfort? It's um, an ongoing, uh, I take the painkillers, um, Actually, I don't know. It's Sorry, I didn't see right. Right now in this moment, on a zero to 10, what's your level? Okay. Uh, let's say it's, um, it's, um, it's not, you get used to, to your pain as well. So probably it's a five. 
five. Okay. Now, because it's feet, we're not going to make your pain go away right now. Probably. Probably. But I just, I want to take you through, I want to give you an experience that you can use going forward. And having had the experience with me will, is going to make it easier for you to get pain free. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah, sure. Okay. So everybody out there, do this with us. The whole point of this, remember, I'm talking to Kim, but I'm talking to you, and this is for you. So unless you're, if you're, uh, you're probably not driving watching a webinar, but if you're driving, don't do this. But I just want to give Kim an experience, and you all an experience that's going to help you going forward. Okay, even if you don't know anything, it's okay. Just kind of stick with me and let's let's do this together. Okay. So, Kim, I just take a deep breath and relax. And you might even want to close your eyes. I like to close my eyes when I do this. And what I'm going to call this is is. I, uh, this is something I learned for something else, but I'm going to call this an invitation to pain freedom. And since we started doing things this way, um, the, the success has even skyrocketed and people get pain free much faster. So we're going to play a little game. You, okay. like, you like games in Finland? Sure. Hockey. Right. By the way, how do you do with, how are you, oh, that's not a game. Hockey's and hockey's. <laughs> Um, how do you do with, with like anger and rage? Yes, I, I've been very angry. I, I, um, I have a history of a um, bad situation with my businesses um, 20 years ago. And for the depression here in Finland. Um, uh, in the early 90s and uh, I lost everything so now I build it up again but um, okay let me bring you back a little bit and I don't mean to I, 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 I and I I get that my question really is how do you do with anger and rage do you do you do you get it when it comes all the time do you tend to sort of push things down do you manage your emotions what do you do? You, you, for, you come across as being rather rigid. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but I'm pretty intuitive and I've been through this a few million times. So when I look at you, I see a, 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 a not a negative way, a stiffness that would be kind of controlling that. So I'm, my question is, how do you, how do you do with those emotions? Um, how I do and what I, what what do I do? You I mean? Are you you know are you are you okay with being angry and pissed off and enra are you okay with those things? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So thank you. So. Um, Not everybody uh, in my neighborhood is okay with it. It's my wife and my children, of course not. Okay. So there's nothing that says you have to express or act out. It's another thing to acknowledge and feel the emotions. There are people that say you don't need to feel them, but I'm going to argue that. So I want to give you this experience. So we're going to play a little game. And I'm going to assume that you, you, you come to me and you say, look, Adam, uh, I, I hear you can help people get pain free. I want you to help me. Uh, nothing I've done has, has worked or worked well enough or given me long-term relief and, and uh, I want you to help me. And I would say, okay, so I'll have you come in and I'm going to help you, but I'm in a very small place. There's not enough room for you to bring all of your stuff in with you. So I'm going to ask you to take your shoes off, and leave those outside. And I'm also going to ask you to leave your mind outside. And you're going to say, all right, what, what do you mean leave your mind outside? You can't do that. 
And what I mean is you can do that really easily. So what I want you to do, and we're all doing this together, I want you to just, again, close your eyes, relax, but I want you to drop all of your past, right? It, it's, I just want you to, anything in your mind, I want anything that's in the past, I want you to just drop that right now, just drop it. And you can do this very easily. We're not gonna talk about, we're not gonna talk about past, just drop it all. You're gonna leave it outside. Believe me, all that garbage will be there waiting for you if you want it when you finish. So drop, just drop everything about the past. Drop it, drop it, drop it. And now I want you to drop every, we're not gonna talk about the future, so drop everything about the future. Just drop it, leave it outside. No past, no future. You're empty, empty, emptying yourself. And you're even going to drop present. We're not going to talk even about the present. Just drop it. Drop the past. Drop the future. Drop the present. Drop all of your thoughts. Just drop them. They'll just fall away. Empty, empty, empty. You're going to come in. The room is small. So empty. No past. No future. No present. No beliefs. All your beliefs. Leave them outside. Drop them. Empty out beliefs and thoughts, all thoughts, all ideas, your self-image, empty, 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 empty. The only thing we have room for in here is just the pure you. No past, no future, no present, no thoughts, no beliefs, no ideas. Empty, empty, empty. Nothing in your pockets, nothing in your ear. You're just everything drops and then you're going to come in and when you do come in we're not going to pick anything up we're just going to stay empty okay so when you've dropped when everything is empty just give me a signal and i'm going to invite you in okay Okay. Good. So just come on. Leave all that garbage outside. Come on in. Just empty, empty, empty. And again, you can keep your eyes closed. I like it that way, but whatever you want to do, stay empty. And now that we're in, I'm going to ask you, with all those thoughts, none of those thoughts, none of those beliefs, none of your history, none of your future, I'm going to ask you to put all of your attention for a moment on the area of your neck. And just notice any physical sensation in your neck. You don't have to say anything. Just notice, no matter how little, no matter how great, notice physical sensations in your neck. And now drop all of your attention down into the area of your chest. And just notice any physical sensations in your chest. We're not bringing thoughts until all that stuff's gone still. That's still outside. Just notice any physical sensations there. And now drop your attention down into your belly. And notice any physical sensations in your belly. And again, your neck, your chest, your belly, these are the areas where those negative emotions tend to live. And even myself right now, I'm having a good time with you. And my belly is this bunch of rage where I feel like I'd like to take a baseball bat and start, you know, breaking walls. Down. And it, it doesn't stop me from having a great time, but that's there. I'm checking in. I'm doing it with you. Everybody else is doing it. So as you notice, I want you to keep all your attention, neck, chest, and belly. It's where those negative emotions live. So now with your attention there and noticing these sensations, it becomes much easier for you to start to label those emotions. So right now, as you're keeping all your attention there, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to say right now what emotion you're feeling. And you're going to answer I'm feeling, and you're going to say the emotion, whatever it is. And we're going to do this for a little while. And, and the emotions may change, or they may not, or they may be the same, but whatever it is, I'm going to walk you through it. You're going to stay empty. You're going to keep all your attention, neck, 
chest, belly, those sensations. Everybody at home's doing this too. So, Kim, right now, what emotion are you feeling? You're going to say, I'm feeling whatever. Um, I'm feeling, um, my feeling is um, a little bit, um, of course, um, afraid. Um. Okay, good. So I'm feeling afraid. Right? Yeah. Okay, good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? First thing. I'm uh, uh, giving, uh, giving up. Okay, so good. So giving up is a belief, right? We left those. So right now, what emotion are you feeling? It's okay. You're doing fine. I'll walk you through. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I try not to have any emotion at all. Okay, so so you you say you're trying not to. I don't have no. Okay, so right now that remember pain is a disconnect from emotions. There's always emotions there, which is fine. So again, all of your attention down neck, chest, belly, sensations, and underneath that nothing is a something. So right now, what emotion are you feeling? First thing that comes, we're not thinking. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm find the words in English, of course. But I'm afraid, still afraid. Yeah. Okay, so I'm feeling afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? First thing. See, here's what's going on right now, Kim. You're going into your head and thinking. This is a feeling. Part. And again, that's why you have pain. By the way, you're not doing anything wrong. This is why you probably have pain. Because there's a disconnect from the emotions. So all I want to do right now is kind of give you this experience of the emotions. So what we're doing is work for thousands of people. Your only job is to allow it to work for you. So sometimes this is almost like building a bridge. It's new for you to acknowledge these things and recognize them. But all we're doing right now, because we've left all that stuff out, your ideas about emotions, what's right, what's wrong, whatever. All your attention, neck, chest, and belly. This, there's sensations there. There are definitely sensations there. So all you have to do is label those. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Wondering, that's what to okay. emotion of course. Look at me for a minute, look at me for a minute. Here's what you did, okay? Is that, where's your attention when this happens? Up here. So, what I'm gonna ask you to do, we're gonna try this a couple more times, and if not, I'm gonna suggest that you go back and practice on your own, then bring it to the next webinar, okay? There's some, there are people like me, that there were certain times when these emotions weren't okay, and then I would, you know, uh, but I could feel rage, I could feel anger, I could do this. What we're seeing right now is just a, Struggle. So I'm going to ask you to drop the struggle. And I'm going to ask you to drop thinking, right? We're not thinking, we're just feeling. So without the struggle and without the thinking, there's just the emotions there. Just, well, they are what they are. So with all your attention down there on those sensations, right now, what emotion are you feeling? First thing that comes, right now, what emotion are you feeling? How would I know? How would I know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you would know instantly because they're there. This is learned. If you've ever seen a, and by the way, this is a great lesson for everybody. It's not fun for you. 
We're going to help you. Um, chronic pain is a disconnect from emotions. This is why you're in pain, right? Even, even with me right now, there's, there's an, an, an inability. You have to learn how to connect with those emotions and feel them and be able to label them, right? How should I know is a pretty good example of that. So here's what I want to suggest. By the way, you're, you're fine. We're going to get you better, okay? And that's why we do these live and, you know, you're fine. So here's what I want to do. By the way, I'm going to give you, let me, I'm going to give you some good news. I've got, I don't know if he's on this call. I've got a super good friend of mine. And I think I talked about him on the last webinar. So anybody that was on it's going to like this story, Kim. You're going to like it too. By the way, he, it's all you guys. He's from Denmark. It's all you guys up there. You're a big pain in the butts, all you guys up in Northern Europe. Okay, so he's from Denmark. So this guy told some of the story last time, and this is, you're all, you're going to like this. So this is a guy, this, he's a close friend. This guy loves me. We were competitors in a big, like 25, 30 years ago, I used to be in the janitorial supply business. We were competitors. And my software crashed and I'm literally toast. I'm out of business. And this guy took a copy of his software. This was before uh, computers were like they are now. And he handed it to me with all of his customer data and all of their pricing and all, he just gave me everything and, so that I could get back in business. So obviously he had to trust me, he gave me everything, all of his customers. So I took them all. No, no, I didn't do that. So anyway, so I was able to go back in business, but that's the kind of relationship we have. So I was about, I don't know, maybe August of last year, I met his, uh, his kid's um, wedding shower. You know, and I see him get up and he's walking like this, his back's hurting, he's, he's been in pain on and off for years and it's back. And, and I just said, why don't you let me help you? And he's there, like, I can see a lot of him in you. There is this stoic, if that's, a, and he goes, no, we just, we laugh about what you do. So he's suffering and he's suffering. So that was about August. And what are we now, March? So about a month ago, he, he, you know, he's miserable. He's got a 14 year old kid or 12 or 14 year old kid. And they want to go golfing and they told him he's got, guess what? Spinal stenosis. I forgot. Spinal stenosis and spondylitis and lightus. They said he needs surgery. He doesn't want to have the surgery and he just wants to get out there and play with his kid. And he's suffering. Oh, look, there's a bunch of you on this call right now. You're all suffering, however you're suffering. And uh, so he finally, you know, he was desperate. You got to be desperate to, you know, talk to your friend, apparently. And so he got a copy of the book. And, uh, you know, he was trying, but he couldn't. I did what I did with you. Nothing. Nothing. Just like you. Nothing. And, um, but it was, I, I, listen, I knew the cause of his pain. I, I know him really well. And he stuck with it a little bit. And he stuck with it. And he just was, I gave him, I, what I'm telling you, go practice that and then come back. So I, I, I hooked him up, if that's the right word, with Dr. Mike, who's our chief medical uh, consultant, to go through the private program. So he's practicing and he's doing his thing. And he, he, I guess he was just going to start, let's call it four or five days ago, he was starting and he calls me on the phone. And I can, you know, we're talking and he goes, in his Danish accent, he, I can't do that, but he goes, you know, you might have something here. And I said, what are, you, what are you talking about? And he says, well, you know, I've been doing what you told me. And, you know, for some reason, every time I do it, my pain goes away. And, you know, he went out and I played some golf. And he goes, it comes and it goes a little. He hadn't even started the whole program yet. He's just, but his, his pain goes away. And, and, and once you have the experience of doing it and your pain going away, you know there's nothing wrong with your back. And then it gets easier and easier and easier. So literally, you're mirroring him. So I'm going to give you the same suggestion. Go practice. Go practice that. This webinar, here's, I'm going to stick it on the YouTube channel for Zero Pain Now. It'll be there. So you can go back tomorrow or the next day, whenever it's there, and, and I'll be 
taking you through it. Practice, practice, practice. All of a sudden, you're going to start to be able to acknowledge those emotions, okay? And then we'll see you on the next webinar. All right, deal? Deal, deal, deal. All right. Kim, I, I appreciate your coming forward. And, and even in a lack of being able to get that right now, you're going to be a superstar for these people at some point in the future because they're going to see you pain free. All right? I already can feel a warm feeling in my feet. That's um, something very special. It's, um, I feel comfortable. Good. Uh, and, uh, Wait a minute. Just, just focus on your emotions. Everything else is a diversion. Just negative emotions, not positive emotions. Those will be there too. Negative, just stay there. Trust me. Just, your foot, we don't, don't even pay attention to your feet. Just focus on your emotions. All right? All right. We'll look forward to hearing from you. I am sending you back into attendee. How do I do this? I'm sending you back into uh, attendee land. Thank you. Thank you for coming forward. Thank you. Thank you very much for you. Okay. Where are we now? That was um, another questions here. By the way, are there, I, I see, there are a lot of people on this to not have hands raised. Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing other hands raised. Are people willing to come forward? Because I can't help you if you don't come forward. Um, I'll answer a couple of questions that seem to be, that have been sent in. But if not, if you don't want to come forward, I can't really help you. You're here for a reason. Don't be shy. This is not the place to be shy. I didn't bite Kim, did I? It wasn't so bad, was it? Okay. Um, there's a question. And it says, aha, there's a hand. I see there's a hand. So we're going to bring you on in a minute. I'm going to answer some questions. Um, it says, oldie, goodie, oldie but goodie. Several years ago, the process worked beautifully. I got the concept. You're welcome, Kim. I got the concept. Why is the same pain back and relief elusive, even though I get it? Oh, I, there is a sign. I'd rather not be seen now. Really? You don't want to see? You don't want us to see you? Okay. Um, most of the time when people use zero pain now and the pain goes away, it stays away forever. It is supremely successful. So, I'm assuming the pain's been gone for three years and all of a sudden that pain came back. It's not about getting it per se, it's about doing it. But if you, if you wanna be a Buddha, reading a book on meditation isn't gonna get you there, you gotta meditate. So pain went away, pain comes back years later. If you change what you do in your brain and your pain goes away, you do this process, unrepress the emotions, your pain goes away. Three years later, pain comes back. So if you change what you do in your brain and your pain goes away, what would happen if you go back to doing things the way you used to? Pain would probably come back, right? So the message to you, I lost your name, Pam. The message to you, Pam, is there's a message. It look. The pain, diversion pain syndrome, is always repressed emotions starting this physiological process that leads to pain. Always. Therefore, if pain comes back, it is a signal to you that you're repressing again. Put your attention on your emotions. It's not about getting it. I get a lot of things, but you have to do the process and unrepress the emotions. Now, most people, the point of the process and the elegance of the process is you do it long enough and it becomes your default way and you don't have to stop and do the process anymore. It's just automatic. You start to realize, God, I'm so pissed. You start to realize that. But um, sometimes 
life happens. We go back and we manage our emotions and things come up and stress comes up and all kinds of stuff come up. And we go back to kind of shoving stuff down and managing. That's, that's part of life. It's okay. The thing is, it's, um, it's just time. Sorry. It's, it, it's time to do the process again, but it's not about getting it. There's kind of nothing to get. Understanding what doesn't cause pain, what does cause pain, but really the, it's about the process. Even if you don't know that, it's about doing the process. And once again, um, we just what I just did is the is the way to do it. We cut it short, by the way, with Kim because there there wasn't a connection there, and he needs to kind of build that bridge to start feeling things before we can do the process to work on him. But over and over and over, you know, right now, what emotion am I feeling? I'm feeling whatever. Keep all your attention down here. This is very, it's too simple. Sometimes it's just too darn simple and it becomes almost frustrating for people because I get frustrated. I see, this is what drives me crazy. Repressed emotions start the process. Anything else you do is, is a diversion. And I see people and I'm on these all these sites and online and I see the suggestions and like positive affirmations and meditation and, and, and all these things people are doing. It's not that they're bad things. I you know, taught meditation for 20 years. Guess who has more pain than anybody? Spiritual and religious people. Meditation is at best some pain management. It's a great thing to do. I recommend everybody do it but it's not going to get rid of that pain. And I see these suggestions and the things people are doing. And I just want to pull my hair out because there's a, there's a, there's a slow way that maybe works and there's a fast way. You know, the, the interesting thing with zero pain now is it's data driven. I don't seem like a hardcore data guy, but I have tested every word of every line, how we do things to, to get fast results. And all of these other ideas, people come up. I had one person one time telling these stories, but they're for you. They're, they really are for you. She'd been in pain for 27 years. And my pain everywhere. She had pain here and there. And, the, you know, it was, she'd fallen off a horse twice and had auto accidents and whiplash and all these different diagnoses. God knows it was, I mean, there must have been five different places, all blamed on different injuries, 27 years. And uh, we did a private program about an hour and a half all of her pain was gone perfectly pain-free i mean just gone she was she was dancing another northern european what's with all these northern europeans she was a northern european also and um so i just said look don't do anything else just do this do it every day there's a process any of you use the process, whether it be a private program or the advanced virtual session, it's step by step. Do it exactly. And so we checked in the next day, pain-free, 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 pain. I got a note, pain. And um, okay, that can have ups and downs can happen during the program. Fine. So I contact her, we get to, we, uh, I think we talked. And I said, so are you doing your pro? She goes, well, I'm doing everything except I'm not doing the 15 minutes asking the question. And I went to a workshop and I was doing some emotional healing work. And I said, why did you go do that? I, I told you, just follow the process. You know, it's 28 days, follow the process. And she, her response is, well, it can't be that simple. Now, my head is spinning around like a cartoon character because all of her pain went away and stayed away until she went and did something else and pain came back. But your mind will sometimes convince you that there's a lot to do and there isn't. This is about just being open to what's there. There's no digging necessary. There's no work necessary with zero pain now. There's none of that. It's just repressed emotions. These emotions are there. It's just noticing them, acknowledging them, we have beliefs. It's one of the reasons I drop all your beliefs, all your stuff when you come into the room. We have beliefs that certain emotions aren't okay. I, I bet all of you, there are colors that you probably don't like that much. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't say 
those colors should be banned or uh, color. Well, emotions are just like colors. Emotions have no meaning. No emotions have any meaning. They're just emotions, signals that go on in your brain. They don't have any meaning. Now, there, there are types of people that are much more likely to suffer pain. And I mentioned one spiritual and religious because they're taught that it's almost always anger, rage. Anger and rage isn't okay. Well, shoot, it's just an emotion. It comes, it goes, it comes, it goes. There's somebody there to, to watch it, but these emotions come and go. And when they get shoved down because they're not okay or we're taught they aren't, the next thing you know, we've got back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, all these things because those emotions get repressed. They're just emotions. Drop any beliefs you have about emotions or who you are with those emotions. Just let that go. All your attention here. Right now, what emotion do you feel? Okay. So I am, uh, I got a question. I'll answer this question. Um, so how's your program different than Dr. Schubiner's or, or I don't know who Nikhil Sachs is, but here's the thing. I don't mean to, uh, I'm not very diplomatic sometimes, so I'm gonna try and answer your question semi-diplomatically. <laughs> I'm struggling to do it diplomatically. Um, there are people, the original guy that figured this out was, was Dr. Sarno. I mentioned him earlier. I don't know if I mentioned him by name. And his theory was great and his technology was great at the time, but it kind of stayed in the 70s or 80s. There are some people that he trained that see him more as a deity than somebody that, that came up with a process. Uh, zero pain now is different because it is data driven. It is tested, it is monitored like no, there is no pain relief process that is documented and has the success 97.4% of the private sessions as zero pain now. The reason is the delivery mechanism or the technology or the methodology is far superior to what you're, you're, you're asking about those other people. I'm sure they are delightful, wonderful, helpful, terrific people. And I'm sure they're caring. I'm sure they're great. I'm sure they're helping a lot of people. We've got thousands of monitored cases with a 97.4% success rate. As soon as somebody gets close to that, great. But the bottom line is it hasn't happened. That's how it's different. And, and I, I, you know, sometimes it sounds arrogant. I'm not. I work seven days a week. My whole life is zero pain now and helping people get pain free. Uh, we just take it further and we, I don't know, maybe we work harder, maybe we drive it differently, but the bottom line is to answer your question, how it's different is the success. And, and there has never been, I got a call one time from this guy at the uh, Mayo Clinic. And by the way, you're a skeptic, be skeptical. You know what, when you feel good enough, then, then you come forward on that. I, I encourage it. And I'll, I'll tell you a story. Um, I get a call one day from a CEO at Mayo Clinic. Not the CEO, they have more than one, I still don't understand it, but he's a CEO, big hitter. And he says, you say you have this 97% success rate. He says, that sounds like quackery. I said, I get it, but it's true. And there's this pause and he goes, well, I was having three migraines a week and I read your book, I didn't do your process. Never had another headache. It's the guy with the best medical care in the world taking care of him. So I flew out. We had this kind of lunch, eat and greet, whatever they call it, it neuro and ortho and integrative and all these different people. And we, we agreed to do this pilot. I'm kind of answering your other part of your question. And um, so they started referring people in this pilot over to me. Again, bulging disc herniated disc, spinal stenosis, fibromyalgia, migraine headaches, degenerative disc disease, plantar fasciitis, um, traumatic brain injury, all this stuff. And again, I quote from the write-up, every patient was pain-free and case closed in 28 days or less using zero pain down method. How's it different? It's different because nobody else has that. Nobody else has those results. They're probably great, but nobody else has those results because all we do, all I do is 
fine tune and test and have come up with a process that just works better. Go, I'm not here to sell you anything. So I'm not gonna try and convince you. Go where you feel best. Feel, 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 not think. People overthink the decision. Is Again, it's the same reason that, that often people are in pain. Feel what resonates to you and go there. I'm sure that those other people are wonderful. Wherever it feels best for you or most right, that's the place to go. So it's a great question. Thank you for that. Uh, Una, I'm going to bring you on because you have your hand raised, right? So I'm going to bring you on where, oh my gosh, it's seven o'clock. So we're going to, we're going to, I'm getting different questions here. We're going to, um, uh, I, I don't, we don't, we only release, you're, you're asking the same gentleman. We only release the research to those in our training program. So I would be in jail by now if I uh, said those things and they were not accurate. Believe me, they would come after me in a, in a heartbeat. Um, let's see. Um, just saying, uh, have been have been explaining away pain, hands, since June. Your work with Kim brought brought some emotion up. Great, that's the point. Everybody's doing this stuff together, so it should be bringing the emotions up. That's fine, and uh, feeling good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for the note there, and I'm just trying to. Um, there's a question here. Does your program work for stress eating? The answer is yes, but it's not for that. There's a zero fat now that's frankly, uh, here, here's what I would tell you. Don't buy my program for stress eating. Go back and rewatch this webinar and that process that I took Kim through and do that five minutes every time before you eat for about the next month and watch what happens. I think you'll be very happy with that. Okay, Una, I'm going to bring you on. So are you ready to come? I hope you are. Your hand is raised. We'll see how that happens. And let's see. Hey, there she is. Hi there. Okay, so we can't hear you. So somewhere down at the bottom is a picture of a microphone. I got it. Hey. Hi, Hi there. How are you? Good, welcome. Uh, yeah, so I uh, got your program, read your book. Wait a minute, is, are, are you from, where are you from? I, I, I can't handle, I, there's no more Europe on this call. Where, where no, I'm, I'm in Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. Mm -hmm. All right, I had a wife from Ontario, Canada, so I happen to love, we are not still married, but I, I, I still love her, I still love uh, Ontario, Canada, so welcome. Thank you. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, so yeah, so I was in a car accident and um, I suffered with uh, nerve pain ever since. And um, and then and then two years ago I started to have back pain. So I I did uh, got your program, got read your book. Okay, when when, when you uh, only because I, I want to get clear, I'm gonna keep stopping you and get some clarification because people say they did the program. Usually I know I recognize a name. So did you do a program or did you get a book? No, just you just got the book. The book. Okay. So you got the book. Okay, so you didn't do a program, you got the book. Okay. Okay. By the way, anybody listening, support is a really good thing. So yes. I re there are thousands of people that have gotten pain-free from the book, but the support is, is, yes. is raises the probability. Okay, so let me just ask a, a couple of questions as we go. When was the accident? Uh, accident was in 96. Okay, before 96, was there ever a time where you had any Acute pain, if you break your foot, it hurts. Six weeks later, it's healed. So any time before then that you had any ongoing pain? No. And what was the pain you had? You said 96, right? Uh, how long were you in pain? Or are you still? I mean... Oh, I'm still in pain, yeah. So, okay. it, so uh, after the accident, mm -hmm. uh, I had a spinal fusion because I'm, I'm paralyzed from the waist down. Um, you are, you are so paralyzed from the waist down, like fully paralyzed? Fully paralyzed, yeah. Okay. So the spine, not because of the spinal fusion, you just had a spinal fusion. It's, yeah, because my back, I broke my back. Okay. I broke my back in the car accident and had the spinal fusion. And since that time, I've just have had a lot of nerve pain, especially in my arms, arms and hands. And okay. um, 
and now I have back pain, like upper back pain now. Um, okay, so over this from night 96, so that's 22 years, if my, my math genius is uh, working. Okay. Um, does your discomfort or your pain, does it go up? Does it go down? Does it change? Does it move? What, what, what can you tell uh, me? Well, it, it's, it's constantly there. Um, it definitely goes up and down. I mean, there's, it, it gets worse and then it gets better. You know, it, it, you, it you never notice goes any, Do you ever notice a um, routine isn't the right word, but a pattern as to when it goes up or when it goes down? No. It doesn't seem to be a pattern. Okay. It's so, more at night, at night it gets worse. At night it gets worse. Okay. Um, if you were going to zero to ten, the range of your pain would be uh, from what to what? Probably from it goes from about a five to an eight. Five to an eight, and never below never below five. Um. Uh, no, I should. It, it it does sometimes go below five, but rarely. Okay. Rarely. Um. So if you're paralyzed, are you in a wheelchair? Yes. Okay. Um, does the disc, does the pain ever move around, or is it always in exactly the same spot? It's in the same spot. Okay. And you said it's you said now it's in your upper back, but you said someplace else. Your arms? Well, it's in my arms and hands, and and but just in the last two years, I I I've started to have back discomfort. Okay. But it's always, now, again, sorry, has it always been your arms since 1996? Yes. Okay, now in the back. And what, what is the uh, diagnosis on that? Or what's the reason they tell you? It's just nerve pain. Oh, just nerve, just nerve pain. Doesn't nerve pain. seem like it's just nerve pain to you, does it? Oh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. Um, look, I can make all kinds of cases that, um, would, would it, how do you do? How, how do you do with anger and rage? Well, that, that's the problem. Is I can't I can't access anger. Okay. I can access well, sadness, like and sadness and depression. Because yeah, sadness and sure, those are okay. Look, can we see? Let's say this isn't you for a minute, okay? Somebody down the street. They had this accident, fusion, paralyzed. Could we assume that that person? would be so, I don't want to say traumatized, so pissed off. Well, your life wasn't supposed to go that way, right? No. I mean, it's not supposed to happen. No. So it, it, it appropriate would be really, really angry, right? Yeah, you'd think so, but. I'm well, I'm not saying, you may not feel it, but that, I, I'm asking you, that would be an appropriate response. Yeah, yeah it would be, it would okay. be. So. But Go ahead. Uh, but but I was never good with anger. I uh, we were not allowed to be angry in our home. Right. So, up, so I, I'm just I'm good, I'm scared of anger. Yeah, of course. So you're. And when people get angry around me, I get physically sick. Right. Like physically mm -hmm. feel. So uh, so at least conceptually, you could see that repress. You know, those emotions could could certainly be the cause of all this pain, right? At least intellectually. Yes. What do you have to know? What do you have to know to know that you're safe with um, anger and rage? Well, it's, it's, I know that I'm safe with it. I can't find it. Can't, can't find, I don't know where it is. Where are you looking? Looking in the same place where I can feel the sadness and the fear. I can feel lots of, I can feel afraid and scared and sad. Um, but anger is just, I don't, I, I, I can sometimes get close to it, especially when I do the exercise, what am I feeling, what am I feeling, like over and over, I can get close to it, but so I can't get, I can't. So since it's already there, remember, you're not, that's a made up term, I just want you to know, you're, you're not getting close or further, and you don't, you're not digging, there's an allowing. That's why I say you know you say you know you're safe with it, but I, I I'm I'm 
I'm not well, sure that you, you, that you because that. it's already there. Meaning you don't get. It's like I get that visual. I get so close, but but not quite. I get so close, but not. You know, I just yeah. don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch that because why? Just tell me what comes up when I say that. I don't want to touch that because first thing. Because uh, um, I feel wrong. It feels wrong. Right. So you have it's, a belief yes. that it isn't okay or it that isn't. it's wrong. Yes. Okay. That is going to hurt someone or, ah. um, yeah, that it's, yeah. um, it's already hurting someone. Yeah. Me. Yeah. You. So, you feel safe with me? Yeah. I think. <laughs> well, do you, if, 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 let's just say right now, all of these emotions, we'll just assume that there's a whole, there's a medical term, buttload of it. Okay, I'll use the medical term. There's a whole buttload of emotion there, right? I mean, all this is happening. None of this, it's just not supposed to be that way. So, if I was to just walk you through the process a little bit, do you feel safe enough to allow what's there? And again, whatever it is, they're just emotions. By the way, I, I, you're, I, you're not going. Listen, I know that. Yeah, I know that they're just well, emotions. Yeah, you know it, but you're not going to lose control. Yeah. You're not going to spin out of control. Your yeah. world isn't going to spiral. Yeah. They're just emotion so you want to take a couple of minutes and and just have me practice with you a little bit first yeah i'd love to so so just like before and again everybody we're, we do this together um and um sorry a minute una so just like i said before we have this we're going to just allow we don't have enough room for all of your beliefs about that that anger isn't okay or rage is. We don't have room for that in here. It's a little room. So I'm just going to ask you to drop, drop all of your beliefs. Okay. You just we're just going to leave those outside. I promise you can go back and pick them up afterwards. But just let go of. You don't even have to let go of. Leave your beliefs out all of your beliefs about anything, about even who you are, about what's right, what's wrong. Just leave all those beliefs. You're going to leave those outside. You're going to empty them. Empty, empty, empty. You're going to empty everything from your past. Everything. There's no past. Just empty that. Future, empty. Ideas you have about anything, what's right, what kind of world you want, what you do want, what results you want. We're not going to just drop all that. We're not we're not putting our attention, we're not going to talk about that. Empty, empty, beyond, even the concept of empty, just drop even the concept of empty, drop everything. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Empty, 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 empty. So they're just the essence of you, pure you. Good. Good. And by the way, an, an, a normal thing that happens when this happens, very common for shaking and things like that to start when all of the garbage <laughs> is empty. It's okay. You're fine. It, it is uh, sort of the body uh, burping up old energy crap from the past. So that's okay. Drop everything and, and you're fine. And, and what your body does, your body does. I'm right here with you and you're fine. Okay. Yes. Empty, 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 empty. Okay, good. So now I just want you to place all of your attention on your chest right now. Any sensations that are in your chest, you're fine, good. Any sensations that are in your chest. Just notice them, nothing, they're just there, good. No, no problem, fine. And your belly. Notice what's there. And as you notice that this, this is where your neck, your chest, your belly, empty, empty, empty. This is where those negative emotions tend to live. So as you notice these sensations and you feel these sensations, you notice that 
that it becomes easier to label them, whatever's there. So you know the question. So right now, I'm just going to say right now, what emotion are you feeling? And you're going to say, I'm feeling whatever. So keeping all your attention down there, right? Empty, empty, empty. When you empty everything, the only thing that's kind of left are those sensations because they're now. So right now, what emotion are you feeling? No, I'm feeling really sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Sad. I'm feeling? I'm feeling sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling really sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, frustrated. Good. And so frustrated is really a nice way of saying what? Um, angry, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling um, yeah, irritated, maybe. Good. It's another nice way of saying it. Okay, right now, good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Um, yeah, I'm feeling... Same irritation. Good. Yeah. Right, you're fine. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Feeling sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling more fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Uh, more fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling scared. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling irritated. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling irritated again. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, irritated. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Uh, feeling fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Fear. Good. Fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling fear. Good. Right now, yeah. what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling afraid. Yeah. Good. And you're safe. I'm just going to yeah. say you're safe and shaking fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No meaning. It's okay. Just your body, there's all this energy and all that garbage down there, and it's just a way your body's kind of letting it out. I can feel right it here with me, it's fine. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling scared. Good. And now? Uh, I'm still feeling scared. Good. And now? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid. Good. And now? I'm still, I'm still fearful. Good. And now? Oh, I'm still fearful. Good. And now? Yeah, fearful. And now? I'm fearful. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Uh, fearful. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm still afraid. Good. And now? Yeah, I'm still afraid. Good. And now? I'm still afraid. What are you afraid of? First thing that comes. My anger. Good. I'm afraid of this anger that I that I know is there, and I'm afraid, and I I feel frustrated that I that I can't. That's same that same thing stop, that I can't. Stop trying. Stop trying. Okay. See all that trying. Just allow it to be there. Okay. Okay. It's already there. Yeah, it's. it's I, I know it's there. Don't think about it. I don't want again. Don't go up here when I say that. Okay. okay. And none of you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. So, so again, all your attention down there, especially in your belly. That that yeah. tends to come. Oh, so good. It feels so, like a there's like a lump. It yeah. Lump down there. And what what emotion is that lump? I, I think it feels like fear to me. Okay. You think it feels like fear, or it feels like fear. It feels like fear. Okay. Right it now. Like, it feels like something dangerous is going to happen, or I'm. There's something I need to be afraid of. Okay. So you said it's that anger. So so you're here with me, right? Okay. You safe? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
right now what emotion you're feeling. Let that, let that ball come out. Right now what emotion you're feeling. Yeah, no, I, no, I'm starting to feel some anger. Good. Right yeah. now what emotion. Good. Right now what emotion are you feeling? Just feel. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If that ball had a voice, it would be anger. Good. Right yeah. now what emotion are you feeling? Yeah. I'm feeling angry. Good. Right now what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, anger. Good. Right now what emotion are you feeling? Uh, I'm afraid again. Okay. Good. Oh God. You're good. You're right here with me. Yeah. Don't hold anything back. Let your body. Okay. I'll tell you a story afterwards. Right now, what about me? Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Um, fear. I'm feeling. I'm feeling afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling afraid. Okay. And now. I'm fearful. Good. And now? I'm fearful. Good. And now? Yeah, I'm afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Um, I'm, I'm frustrated because I, I can't feel that, that anger. I don't want to feel it. Well, fr that's like saying I'm angry that I can't feel that I'm angry. Yeah, I'm angry. I'm angry that I'm not angry. Good. So yeah, you just... No, yeah, now I can feel the anger again. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Uh, anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling scared. Good. Yeah. Just drop that. Look underneath the scared. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, anger. I'm feeling... I'm feeling angry. And say it like you really mean it too. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? God, I feel like rage. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I, I, can, I can start to feel rage. Yeah. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Angry. Good. And now? Yeah, I can, I can feel angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling furious. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, can, more anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Anger. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I can feel angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Angry. Good. And say, I'm feeling. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling angry. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling angry. Good. And now? No, it, it's, yeah, it's more fearful again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Just... That's just your body. It's fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's kind of fun when you look, when you watch it, by the way, I'll tell you stories about me. I've done that for, for, for years. So it's, never, no, it's never happened to you before, but as part of that process, I, I sometimes will shake uncontrollably while I'm doing it for hour. I mean, it, it, only when I'm doing it, but yeah. it, it's all that stuff's been in there for how long? Right? How long has that garbage been in? So your body is, it's just energetic crap coming out as you're doing that. So it's yeah. what you will know. I just want you to know that, that you could sit there and do that all night. You're fine. It doesn't, it's just coming out. Uh, That's it's me. In all the times I, I would do, I'm feeling, it would always just be sadness and sadness and, mm -hmm. and more sadness. And That's why we're doing these. By the way, any change in your discomfort? Um... And what's funny, I, I, I was so into feeling my belly and that I didn't even feel my arm. Now I can feel them again, but. Well, what, right now, what's any change? Uh, no. Okay. It's okay. Just get started. Mm -hmm. so, so. Yeah. So what would you recommend going forward? 
Well, first and foremost, I recommend um, doing this process. So you, you, you might, um, look, you might want to get an advanced virtual session program. I think the support would be beneficial. That's yeah. number one. Number two, um, you're okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just want you to know that you're okay. So, but I want you to be able to, like, so over and over and over, I just want you to check in. So right now, again, go. we're going to go right back. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Keep all your atten attention down there. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Fear. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling? I'm feeling afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I feel afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I feel afraid. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I feel afraid. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm, I have more, more fear. I'm feeling more fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? More fear. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling afraid. Okay. And now? Afraid. And now? I'm feeling afraid. Good. Oh, right now, what emotion are you feeling? Okay. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Yeah, I, I feel fearful. Yeah. Um, and now, where's that anger? What's under the anger? What's under the fear? Yeah, I think just sadness. Okay, sadness is okay too. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I feel sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I feel sad. Good. And then? Yeah, I'm feeling sad. Good. And now? Yeah, I'm, I'm more sadness. Uh -huh. And now? Yeah, I, I feel sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling sad. Okay. And now? Yeah, I'm feeling sad. And now? Yeah, I'm feeling sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling frustrated. Good. And now? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling uh, anger. Uh -huh. And now? Uh, yeah, anger. And now? S sad again. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? Sad. Good. Right now, what emotion are you feeling? I'm feeling sad. Good. And now? I'm feeling really sad. Yeah. And now? Yeah, I'm sad. And and you notice as we're doing this, stay with me for a sec. Yeah. The walls aren't falling down, right? No. <laughs> the feeling isn't. Maybe your body's doing a little uh, dance, but um, they're just emotions. And there there's a lot of I mean, look, it, you'd have to be nuts not to have all that with what you've been through. So this it's sort of a cleanse for a for a lack of a better word. Let me tell you something. I, I do as I said, I, I learned about this kind of the process of dropping everything. Kind of a spiritual thing. I have a teacher and whatever. And and my body, I mean for a year and a half I mean bouncing. I, I'm sitting and I'm bouncing and 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 since I knew it it got to be a pain in the ass, but you know, I knew it was fine and it was, it was actually fun for a while and it got to be a pain in the ass. So what I can promise you is, because we're going to be not you and me together in a moment, and, and I want you to know that um, this kind of stuff is just energies bouncing out of your body. Bounce, you know, it's just coming out. Yeah, it just like can't stop now. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it'll, it might start again, but it, it, it will. And, and, and if you ever need to ground yourself, just kind of put, put all your attention like just down to the floor, even just down to the ground. But I want you to feel, look, you're, you're opening up. There, you know, if you take a volcano, I don't want to go to the extreme, but I want to give you an example. You take a volcano, it's crusted over, and it builds inside, you know, all that stuff builds and eventually... Poof, and then if it doesn't crust over again, it settles down. So, you, you know, there's a lot of lava 
down there. So all you have to do, there's nothing to do other than pay attention to your emotions and label them. And, and this stuff is, is okay. You could listen. If you, if you take your mind, by the way, and you start putting it on some, what's some horrible thing that that guy from Finland said, you probably like it there, hockey or some crap like garbage. Like you'll, you'll see your body will probably settle down pretty fast. It's, it's when your attention's going there, it's, it's, it's releasing. So when you go pay attention to some other, you know, stuff, you'll, you'll, you'll see that. I'm going to, so, so first of all, you've had an experience of, of being able to be with these emotions, you know, get it. It's going to be much simpler for you now. Yes. Number two, um, you got a pencil handy? Yes. You got anything close? I want you to write something down. Then I want you to do something, but I want to, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Not 949. 949, yeah. 497. Hang on, there's no pen's not working. No. Pen's not working? What kind of crap? That's something to be pissed off about. Exactly. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that has me throwing crap around when the pen isn't working at the appropriate time. Okay. Let's try this one. All right, ready? Nine four nine. Okay, nine four nine. Four nine seven. Four nine seven. Eight three eight three. Okay. That is for nobody else, by the way. Four nine seven. Eight three eight three. Okay. That is for nobody else, by the way. Anybody who has any ideas, that is my cell phone. Okay. If you need me, you call me. Okay. Okay. You're fine, but yeah. I don't want you to feel like you're. If you if you need me. I did the worst thing when I was first starting this. I think I wrote about it in the book, my wife at the time from Toronto. Yeah. She had this migraine and I was practicing and learning this stuff. And it's like I'm asking her the question, the pain's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And I didn't realize sometimes it does that and then goes down. And I all of a sudden, it's horrible. I said, well, I got a meeting, I got to go. And I left that poor woman in just searing pain. I still have some guilt over that. So do the process over and over, just pay attention. It's you're safe, right? You see that you may this happens fine. Watch it. It's fine. You know, think of it as a you're, you're getting a Disneyland ride without having to pay for it. Um, but you're safe with it. If you need me, you call me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'll get that the program. Yeah, because I, I think you're going to be very happy. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. They'll get some support with it. But when you do it, and you send in an update, you just make sure you tell them who you are so that they notify me, okay? Okay. And if you need something, you let me know. But the bottom line is you're safe with it, but keep doing it. And keep and, and, and it's not like you have to look. It's there. So if, if the, the fear, all right, you kind of know it's the fear is that the anger is, but you are, you just you experienced it. Nothing happened. Yeah, yeah. Like when you asked me what was anger under the fear, then yeah. Like, so, so that's what you do. It's you. Your 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 mind has has spent years figuring out how to set up these blockages so that you don't go. I mean, jeez, it's like serious, you know, garbage. Yeah, be, you should be really pissed off. Rage when you said it, really. Yeah. This the one that comes for me is incensed. I get so angry. I don't have to express it. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to hit anybody. Just pissed off. So do it and do it. And again, I'm going to put this, and it's a good time. I hit the record button. I'll put this on the YouTube and you can go to that and um, um, and, 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 you know, it basically has me walking you through it again. So that will help you as well. Get that program, get started. Okay. Um, but you have my number if you feel anything that if you just you call me. Yeah, thank don't, you. Thank don't call me, but call me if you need me. Oh no, no, absolutely. No, I no, no. I'm playing. I'm playing. I, I, I listen. I wouldn't have given you that if, if yeah, you're, you're, you're fine. But you yeah. feel free if you need it, you call me. Yeah, thank you, thank you so oh, much. It's, it's my pleasure. So I'm going to uh, first of all, I'm going to put you back to attendee, and then I'm going to just kind of share a little bit with everybody. All right, so you and I, are, we'll, we'll get this. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so um, for those of you that are here, this is, we never know what's gonna happen. It's always interesting on these webinars. So 
I think there are probably a bunch more questions that I didn't get to that that um, that uh, there you know there's always interesting folks. Um, and what you just saw was was uh, a, a pretty strong visual of what happens when emotions are, are bottled up and and many people would would see that and think that it just happens the body releases stuff so um i uh, the goal here is just to help some people feel better i get notes from people and i've got one guy already angry that i won't share with him studies and data you know zero pain now probably isn't for him um the cause of pain is these repressed emotions you're, you're seeing that visual was so great with that with, in that last one because you could see the, the the managing of the emotions and the you know the kind of holding them down while trying to go for them and it was a perfect visual for all of you so uh, I will put this probably tomorrow, if not the next day, my staff will stick this on our Zero Pain Now YouTube channel. You can watch it again. If Zero Pain right now is right for you, you'll know it. Get a program. If it isn't, fine. Come to the free webinars. Use the free stuff. That's what we're here for. Uh, the goal here is just trying to help some folks. It's always helping 10 million people get pain free at Zero Pain Now. And that's, um, and that's what I'm trying to do. So feel free to reach out. I didn't get to everybody's question because it got a little lengthy. Uh, feel free to reach out. Send email, info at zeropaynow.com. Feel free to send an email if your question didn't get answered because some notes came in. If uh, you had a reaction to doing the process, send, send a note over. If you feel uncomfortable after, after what, what you just watched, send a note on that. It's okay, we're, we're all here to help you. Uh, however you need. So uh, I, I, I often break my promise, which I'm going to try not to, and, and we don't do these as often as, as probably I should. It's just too easy to get together. We all get together and, and hang out for a little while and, and, and help some folks. So we're going to do that more often. And uh, I, nothing makes me happier than getting a chance to uh, to help you connect with you uh, it's that you let me into an hour and a half of your time more is uh is is more special than you you ever know for me and when i get to connect in, in these ways it's uh, there, there's nothing like it for me so i want to thank you for coming and i appreciate it and we're here and anything at all that that i can do shoot a note to info at zeropaynow.com. We've got a whole group of people that, uh, that are here to help you. So we will do this again soon. I'm not sure I know how to end this, so I'm going to try, but I thank you. And uh, I wish you the very best, and I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Here's to your pain-free life, everybody. Bye.